everybody, and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy, Episode 5. This is Alaska Mountaineer, and I'm really glad to have you here. Hello, Ruggedeth. I'm doing well. How are you doing? Vape, how are you? By the way, guys, if you don't know, Vape Tard's my son. He's over here watching, so hello to you. Hope you're all doing well. I'm doing fantastic, and it is Tuesday. I hope you had a wonderful, wonderful day. Well, I guess it's Wednesday for you, Ruggedeth, over in Australia. So here we are, guys. What a battles we had last night trying to get that helm for, oh, what was his name? Um, can't remember his name off the top of my head. The little uh, goblin, the good goblin. Anyway, uh, I just had his name on my head, Lag, Lag Doc or something like that. Anyway, we helped him out, and it was quite some battles in there fighting the, I don't know what they were, undead things and the frost gloams and all that. Uh, quite surprising how hard that was but we got it done uh my friend how you doing see i told you i can't say your name so i'm gonna call you my friend Cons consogo i hope i'm saying it i know i'm close consogo all right guys we are here we did a lot of things yesterday but you know one thing we need to probably do let's go right into it let's go to our quest log we have all these quests we have to do, and I think we should probably cash in the castle. We should probably, I really need to do his treasure map. Uh, I think we need to do the flight test and learn about this. Getting better every day. By the time I figure it out, <laughs> I'm going to say it wrong again. So how about we start off with the flight test? Uh, yeah, I think we should do that. Let's see where that's at. Got to fly our broom around. It is over there, huh? Is there anything close that I have unlocked? No. So we'll go to here and there. And we'll fly over there and see if we can get this done. We do this, we can unlock uh, upgrades. You thought, for our if you thought more while we were alive i wouldn't be trapped here with you now excuse me <laughs> oh man uh yeah let's get out of here guys if we do this we unlock some upgrades for our broom so let's go do that all right we can go hold down tab and get our broom let's get at it not that far away. Uh, where do we go in at? Looks like we go in right there. No, we don't. Let's see. Where do we go in? Let's look over here. Sinus, hello there. How you doing, buddy? Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. All right. We need to... I guess we go over here, yeah. I guess I could have flew right over the top of this. One thing before we get going, I want to go to, t uh, no, tab. We have an invisibility spell on, and we don't need that right now. I want to put the defensive, let's see, that is, I don't really have anything else except for Thunder Brew. Creates a storm around the drinker with stuns and damages. I need to use that for a quest too. How about we put that down on there so we can use that for a quest. Hey you, Hufflepuff. Amelda Rays? <laughs> Albie Week sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. Uh, that's not what happened. I don't know what people have said, but I certainly <coughs> wasn't showing off. Tell that to the rest of the school. But it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. 
I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Hufflepuff. Um, I'm can not you tell ready me more for about a flying test. <laughs> Stalling, fifth year. Fine, I'll humor you. This course demands focus. Requires you to anticipate speed and height before every turn. The others test stamina. Three courses in all. Built ages ago by former students. Since Black cancelled Quidditch, it was these courses or nothing. I made them popular again. Got the whole school hungry to compete. So, let's see what you've got, fifth year. She is feisty. All right, let's go. Actually, why not? I can build a record. <laughs> I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Well, guys, we're not a good flyer, but maybe we can sneak through here and get lucky. This is rather fun. Excellent. Oh, I don't know what that was. Messed me up, though. <laughs> I'm pushing the wrong buttons. There we go. Oh, I see. Makes me faster, so I gotta be careful. Success. Oh, I'm gonna miss that one. Uh oh. This takes some getting used to. Three seconds. Oh, I don't have to go through it. I missed one, guys. Trying to get the. That bubble thing. Brilliant. Made it. Well, this is a little bit better, a little straighter for us. Uh oh. <laughs> there we go. If I miss, I can't go back because it messes me up. Uh-oh. Messed it up again. Wayne land. Did it. That's weird. He kind of just stops there. I gotta figure out what I'm doing wrong there. see that well look at that guys we got really lucky i was all over the place i'm not good at using uh keys yet but we'll get there oh, <coughs> that's not you, you must have cheated you oh fine you won don't think this is over you can't determine skill from one single trial Surely What's my not? win means something. Eh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. Do we want to learn her respect? <laughs> That's what she said. He says right there. I don't want respect from the likes of you. All you do is insult people. You and everyone else need to get a thicker skin. Anyway, I'm moving on to the next course. It's near Irondale and offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. Well, there we go. So return to Albie Weeks. Yeah, how about we go right here? Whoops, let's go back. Hello, Abby. Oh, we have to meet her somewhere, don't we? That's right. So why don't we grab a broom? I suspect Mr. Weeks. I never thought someone. Yeah, I don't know what I did to make it stop right in the middle. Maybe I'm going to try something. No, running out of stamina doesn't do it. But I found myself stopping a couple of times. Yeah. 
Yeah, we got to get some of these side quests out of the way so we can start making sure we're strong enough and getting all those spells that we need for the tougher bosses up. I have a feeling we could have done a lot better if we would have done some of these side missions. There we go. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Oh, look right here. Rebellion. Thought I had all of these. Stack set of cauldrons outside Cedar Weeks advertises a shop where it could be noted that stacking cauldrons in this fashion, while admittedly eye catching, is ill advised for anyone wishing to brew a potion of any attendant effect. 22 out of 25, so there's three, three more. All right, well, that makes sense because I don't know if I went to everything in here. Oh, you're back. We've something to report, I hope. <coughs> Mr. Me. Wheat, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible. Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Mm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? No, oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways, worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. <sighs> Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flight, nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. I have a friend in Rome runs a shop like mine, says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. And where would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smevik had let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. Okay, can't wait to hear I'm more. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Nice. Oh, well, we might get our first hmm. upgrade soon. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed. Okay, guys, one... Oh, there we go. Three test. Okay. One thing I'm wondering about, if you look, let's go to our our gear. If you look, uh, we'll use this robe, for example. There's upgrades. I wonder how we get upgrades for clothes. Uh, maybe that's later on. But you can see this time I have any upgrades. This one does. It has three upgrades available. So I'm anxious to... Hopefully, we'll learn how to do that. All right, sweet. Well, we got one of the quests done already. Let's go back to the other ones. And Madam Cogwes assignment, pop balloons. We haven't done that yet. We haven't done that. I, it doesn't say that I can. When I go up to it, it says I have nothing to, to use. But we can try again. Maybe I'm using it wrong. But we need to do this. Professor Sharp assignment acquire and use a Thunder Brew potion against enemies. Professor Anwa's assignment, attend deviation class, cash in the castle, and summoner's court match. I'm not ready for that yet. How about we see if we can find an enemy and use his brawn? Just a simple one. I think there was some. Hello again. I've got spectacular news. The broom upgrade's ready. Ha, stop by the shop when you can. Well, he's pretty fast, isn't he? Welcome back. I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. I truly appreciate all of your help. Okay, broom upgrade. So we enhancement increases your broom's acceleration speed for 1,000. Well, guys, of course, that's why we have coin, right? You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. I, I must tell you, half of Oxmead's been by the shop asking about rumors of a broom upgrade. Without the information you provided, my work would have taken twice as long. Thank you again. 
It may sound ambitious, but I've already begun work on another upgrade, more difficult to perfect than the last. I wondered, would you be interested in joining forces again? There's another course near Irondale that Miss Reyes has mastered. If you were to test this first upgrade there, it may help me as I develop the next. Oh, you'll consider it, won't you? Uh, she asked a question. Tell me about the next course. It's just a jaunt from here, south of Oxmead. Beautiful mountain views. The course was designed to test flyer stamina. Some of your classmates mentioned they were headed there, eager to see what Imelda has in store. A bit surprising, considering many of them expressed reticence at the idea of racing against her at all. I hope that won't deter you, and you'll give the course a go. At least think on it. Okay. Well, Sounds think on it. Really hey guys, what's yourself. your thoughts? Should we go do if this one help, quest and I get will. it done? Thank you. Wait. I know this recent success was only the beginning of what I can do for Broom Flight. All right, sorry, I talked over him. Report back as soon as you can, and we'll be off to the race. Should we go do that or use this thunder thing first? And let's take a look at our broom. How do I look at our broom? That's a good question. How do I do that? Let's go to gear. And yep, there's an upgrade right there. One upgrade. Wind Wisp Broom. A stylish broom with a light touch, quite literally. Okay, I, it doesn't say, well, maybe it does say what it is. I'm not sure. Yeah, oh, well, yeah I don't think there's any enemies south, but you know what? We don't know until we look, do we? So let's go that way. Off to the races then. Hogsmeade, here I come. There. Oh, she's a long ways away. I thought I said just south. <laughs> the stamina's a lot better, guys. Uh, maybe it's not. Might be. Yeah, you said a John. His John. Maybe he was thinking it could have been clear across the other side of the map. <laughs> but at least we have a broom to get there quicker. We we'll get to fly over the mountain too. And we may, if we fly a bit lower, maybe we'll see some enemies on the way. Let's fly over the land a little bit. Actually, we do have enemies here. Yeah, let's uh, go down. And I think these... Oh, actually, I don't know. Remember what these are? Oh. Eight legs is simply too many. Yeah, I agree. That's a pretty good little spell, isn't it? I kind of like that. We need to make some, make more of these guys. Grab some of these while we're here. Yeah, I think we should buy the recipe for that. That's actually pretty good. I don't know if we completed the quest or not, but we don't have any more. Check Q. Did we gain more options? No. I should investigate. A castle must have been quite stately in its time. 
That's a busy place right I'll there. Make you wish you were back at Dueling feeds. Keep an enemy airborne. Uh, we ain't going to worry about that yet. I think we have to shoot these down too, don't we? I think there's a quest for that. Let's just get these right here just in case and we'll have these done. There it goes. Pop balloons. Challenge up unlocked. Oh, we got another one unlocked, huh? So there's it. We'll get another one on the way back. I don't think there's any over there. Oh, what was that green thing? Oh, birds. Okay, let's, uh, well, there's enemies in there, so we got to go around. I see you. Boy, it's a long ways, isn't it? Here we are. Mr. Weeks wasn't wrong about the mountain views. If it isn't the fastest Hufflepuff. Hello, Imelda. So, another trial? Of course it's another trial. And you'd better be taking part. Uh, change your mind. Does this mean you've changed your mind about me? Well, you're a step up from the good-for-nothings who usually challenge me. While they sit around and hope to be the best, I put in hours of practice. No one sets records by wishing for them. And I need strong competition to stay on top of my game. Well Are said. you going to try to beat my flying record or not? Uh, strong competition. Strong competition? Could that have been a compliment, Amelda? Go ahead, believe what you want. It makes no difference. <laughs> well, she's a lot nicer now, isn't she? Soft. She got humbled. No one goes around telling me I did a fine job. Do I care? No. I say I'm the best, and that's all I need. Well, I thought she so did. So please, try to beat my record, fifth year, and don't be disappointed when you lose. All right, guys, we got to do better than we did last time. Finally, a decent I have feeling they're getting harder. I'd say that oh. was acceptable. Yeah, we gotta stay on our game on this. No mess ups. Brilliant. Where's it at? I don't know where it's at. Where is it? Oh, I see. We have a... Well, that was a mess up. But I see the uh, marker now. I didn't see it before. Hopefully we can catch up. These yellow things felt my stamina meter. We're catching him. Uh oh. But we not we're almost done. We gotta hurry. I'd say that was acceptable. There we go, guys. Go be close. Three more rings. 
<laughs> now that's more like it. All right, just don't lose track here. We got one more. <laughs> this is rather fun. Wasn't fun. That's stressful. <laughs> Getting bears on a on that meat here. I'm a horrible flyer. <laughs> I'm all over the place. It's fun, though. Good or bad. Whether you're good or not, it's fine. I must admit, that was a bloody good run. Be careful. Earn a reputation for talent around here, and some people get put out about it. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Yes, well, I am. Anyway, you didn't do abysmally. I can't deny that. But you'll not have the same luck on the South Coast course. Well, we need tech as a compliment for sure. You said your reputation for talent put some people out. Like whom? Hmm. If you must know, I've had to deal with jealousy from members of my own house. When we were first years, Nerida Roberts and I spent loads of time on our brooms, pledged to fly every day. As my skill on a broom grew, rapidly I might add, Nerida suddenly didn't have time for flying practice. I tried to give her pointers, but she didn't have the natural ability I did. Clearly, she was jealous. Her thing spends all her time now dawdling by the lake, obsessed with mare people. Won't even learn to swim. I refuse to downplay my talents to coddle someone else's fragile ego. <sighs> anyway, I need to ready the next course. Stop by when it's ready, if you can handle it. I shall. You know, she's not a bad we'll person. See, she we? just doesn't know how to have success. I half expected you to back down. Rest on your laurels. See you at the South Coast trial, if you don't lose your nerve. <laughs> to race this course again, visit the podium with the leaderboard, where you right, can start guys, the race. Let's get out of here. And let's fly back because I, I want to Another successful do those flight. balloons. I should let Mr. Weeks know. There's balloons over there. We'll grab these on the way back. That make things perfect. I think the game might be letting us win because we should have lost that one. Yeah, you know, I got way off and I couldn't find the next marker. There we go. We got that quest done now. Oh, this is an interesting place. Oh, I like to get rails. Go for it. Yep, we're going to go back to it. We're on a roll now. We might as well finish this quest line, right? Get all three upgrades. We got to use the broom a lot more, too. I really haven't used it. Now, I'm going to pop more balloons here and see if we get like a bonus or anything. I mean, they are right here. We get the elevation, right? Pretty easy. I need to start using my broom more. I'm not using it that much. I mean, we that's why we have it, right? Look at that wolf down there. Oh, I can't pan my mouse down, but there's a big wolf. Huge. Down there. Oh, there's a bunch of those quests. All right. Well, as we see them, we'll do them. We won't go out of our way. We'll probably see some way go do the next quest. Flying over a new landscape. I like the railroad tracks down there. That's pretty sweet. Oh, there's some balloons right there. We'll grab these. Lillian, hello there. How you doing? 
Oh, there's a train. Let's take a gander at this. Let's go right here. Happy Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day to you as well. Yeah, let's do this. I know that means Merlin trial. Alright, the last one was a little challenging. We figured it out by accident. Let's see if we can figure this one out. So we have one, two, three stones right here. What about if we the that doesn't do anything. Confringo. Revelio. Lumos. Accio. Okay, maybe they don't do anything. It was a coincidence. Revelio. That moonstone real quick. All right, what do we need to do? Let's look over here. Yeah, these do get a lot harder to figure out. And I don't see anything glowing. Revelio. Aha, wait, yes, I do. All right, there's one. There's two over there. But I don't think I can reach that from here. Let's try it. Confringo. No. So. Where's this other one at? Get our broom. Right. There's the all. There's three of them right here. Confringo. Let me also. I don't remember what I did right here. Let's try number four. Also. Expelliarmus. Let me also. Confringo. What did I do on the last time I seen one of these? Uh, three Incendio. maybe? Accio. I don't remember what I did. Oh, Lumos. try this. Oh, I remember. We had to find those purple floating things. Where were they at? Revelio. Yeah, there were some little floaters flying around. Down there. So, are we going to have... Is there... Oh, there's danger down here too, guys. This one's taking us in danger. I see one person down there, though. Where's he at? Lumos. I'm sure it's also. Be. I'll get them. You're a slippery. Let me also. All right, got another one less poacher in the wizarding world. Pick that ancient magic stuff up. Level locked. Okay, we can't let that go. All right, let's go over here. And grab. Let's go to F2 and press 1. Lumos. We can get up there. All right, there's one. We gotta find another one now. Oh, right there it is too. That's gonna be a hard one to get to. Can't put no. I can't put the light on while I'm on here. Well, 
Let's see if we can get it up there. Oh, yeah, it's right here. Is there any over here? Revelio. No. So we'll grab this one. Lumos. And there was one. See that one. I think there was one up there. Revelio. There it is. So we need to find the little particles for here. See anymore. Maybe they're up higher. Oh, there they are, all the way up here. All the way up. Now, how did I not see these up here before? Lumos. All right, let's uh, drop down. Where's a good place to drop down at? Whoa, almost fell down. Right here. Drop down right there. Here. There we go. That's that. We got That's it, guys. Uh, do you know if you we only get drops once a week or something? I have no idea how the drops work. I, I really don't know. I have them on and just hopefully you'll get them. Uh, I think there was four so far. I think. Have you gotten four? You just got a drop? Okay. Well, I'm glad we did that. That was fun. Yeah, we have three more of them. Yeah, the, uh, I appreciate you doing that too. Rugged Out don't have the game either. There we go, three out of five. Oh, here's some more. Yep, there's a scarf and something else, too. I don't remember what they are right now. I'm sorry. Oh, I missed that one. I know Rug has them all. He could probably tell you what it is. I missed them. Balloon somewhere. Where's that thing at? Oh, where is that other balloon? Every half an hour, okay. Where is this last balloon at? Okay, maybe them don't count. You know why we're here. Hello. Do you have anything for sale? That I do. But uh, what's a student like yourself doing out here? Got yourself lost, did you? Just exploring the countryside a bit. Hi. <laughs> nice to break the routine now and then. Bit of a wanderer myself, in fact. The name's Leopold Babcock, and I am indeed here to sell. 
Well, hello, now, Leopold. For someone like yourself who is also prone to wander, I cannot understate the importance of keeping some Wigan World potion on hand. Why, well, I, I wouldn't dare set foot in a place like the Forbidden Forest without a steady supply. What do you say, my young friend? A measure of safety for the path ahead? Well, something it depends to on your cost. Thank you for your help, Mr. Babcock. Aye, let me know if you see something you like. All right, may I see where... What do you have for sale? The first thing I want to do is sell anything see we don't need. See if there's something you need. Which we'll, we have a lot of stuff. Uh, let's get rid of this. I shall hope to do business with you again. Oh, how have I not used that? I didn't know I had that, so let's go back to here. Does he have anything we need out of here? He does have three. Let's get them. Thank you, know you how for these your patronage. Are. Oh, he has brooms. An agile broom for the flower who wants to look impressive when demonstrating their mirrored skills. Well, we're not going to buy that, but that's pretty sweet. And we don't need anything else out of there. Okay, we have something we need to put on. That's been a pleasure. Uh, do I not have any of those? I have one's all I have, isn't it? Yep, yep. My, probably not a bad idea. Yep, good call. Let's go to our gear. And where have I not... What was that? It wasn't that one. Oh, it was Scarf, wasn't it? Yeah, look at that guy. He's plus three offense. I don't know how I missed that one. There we go. That's better. All right, let's talk to him again because we do understand how important it is to have See your inventory clean. You need. And let's grab these. There's 300. Thank but, you for your I mean, patronage. We just got that coin, but we can make these ourselves now, and we should. Maxima potion, increase the drink of spell damage. Yeah, we're going to wait because that stuff's that's 300. <laughs> we we'll don't do everything today. That's been a pleasure. All right, so let's go tab. Let's drop these in there. Hopefully, I don't use them. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. I know good and well I'm going to use those. We'll put them on when we need them. All right, in the meantime, guys, where did our last balloon go? And maybe there wasn't five balloons on this one, maybe. All right, we won't worry about that last balloon. There are plenty more, I'm sure. I see some over there already, north of the castle. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? And we can go to Beastmaster's class too. And if we have enough time today, guys, tell me to do that next. Maybe we can get us a something to follow us around. <coughs> Revelio. Also keep looking, Sky. We need one more page. I think it's one more. There's something flying over there. That's a bird. Okay, I don't see anything. Back from your latest flight. I want to hear all the particulars. Good news, Mr. Weeks. With your upgrade, I was able to set a new record at the Irondale course. Brilliant! I knew the upgrade had fantastic potential. How did your broom feel? It rides well. Let's get a tad shaky at top speed, and the handle wobbles a bit when I hit a strong <coughs> gust of wind. Excuse me. Ah, yes. Hmm, I see. I think I know how to address that. Thank you. I owe you one. If it means another upgrade, the pleasure's all mine. <laughs> you sound as determined as I am to improve broom flight. It's a joy to have a collaborator like yourself. If I'm right, and I do hope I am, you'll be hearing good news from me soon. Well, guys, let's Thank wait around again, here truly. just for a moment because he... Let's see what he's got for What are we sale. looking for today? He don't have anything. 
because he is uh, he's giving us stuff team. pretty quick. Team. Sweeping the competition. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. All right, let's wait around here for just a second. We'll look for a book because he's going to be done here in a second. Revelio. I mean, a page. I'm sorry, not a book. Hello, kitty. Take time to pet the kitties. Oh. Revelio. Of course, one page being left is going to be a tough one to find in a bigger place like this. And I think we can do a quest now or a mission, whatever you want to call them, that let you open uh, some of these Sometimes doors. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. <laughs> Let's um, go number two or three. Go number two. Well, I don't have that on here anymore. Let's go to T and put this spell right there. Get some of our money back we just spent. King Flower Broom over the town. There's 500. Yeah. Lumos. You see that uh, at our left to our mini map, there's a, a broom thing there with a slice through it. Yeah, we can't. Can't use it. Ah, uh, come on, get out of there. I didn't know he could fight. He is. Here we go. I'm out of that. Revelio. Yeah, there's a big bubble around the town. I feel like I've not explored this right here, but I guess I have. Yep, I've been in here. Hello, man. Sir. <laughs> Sorry to... Oh, I like the mounts in the game. <laughs> Maybe the slobber over top of the drinks is not the greatest thing. Revelio. Well, I'm surprised he hasn't chatted with you and said it's done. We may need to go do something else for now. Let's look for just another moment for that last page. There's another chest at least. Let's go see if we can sneak up on it. We just paid for everything we just bought, I think. Three, six. No, we still got a, maybe one more chest we can find it. We'll have it all paid for. Ortega. Revelio. Lady, you found all the pages here yet? There's some balloons up there. How about we I'm just trying to practice. take a flight up sure there? Grab those balloons. Uh, what's the best way to get out of here? I see the page over here as well. Revelio. the tomb of the villager why not let's do it real quick i might regret it but let's just do it while we're waiting on him to give us our upgrade oh he got us upgraded glasses Uh, 
Uh, level 19. Let's get out of here. It would be worth it just for the glasses, just to go in there. All right, let's uh, go to our gear, our face wear, and look at eight more defense. You got to like that. There's nothing wrong with that, is there? And guys, what I wear is your call. Everything I have on right now is what y'all told me to wear. So if you see anything else, let me know. Well, he didn't shout at us. So let me look one more time up. I'm saying the quest is, I mean, the upgrade done. So why don't we go to our quest? And guys, we can do beast class or... There, where's the other flying one? We haven't got the other flying one yet. Summoner, Cash, Professor, Professor, Professor. Oh, we didn't get credit for that Thunderbrew potion we used. Okay. Probably wasn't close enough to it or something. So, you want to do Beast Class real quick? Or the Caretaker, Looney, or Lament? Glad when Moon, the Hogwarts Caretaker, which just speak with about me about something I should find out near the reception hall. Lunier. There we go. Let's go take a gander at him and see what he wants us to do. Well, he's probably over there. And Oh, does it? There you go. See, I don't know those things. That's what you're here for. All right, we'll go to here and there. People put locks on doors so we can unlock them and go ahead and get stuff with permission, right? All right, so let's go. Revelio. Ooh, there's a chest. <laughs> uh, we're not going up there, are we? Now, how can we get that chest? It's a blue chest. Right here. How have I missed this one? Oh, because we're not high enough level, that's why. How nice to see you, my young friend. Well, thank you, my friend. One out just which statue, okay? How y'all remember these things? I sure don't. Revelio. Now, if we see that rhinoceros, oh, here we go. We're going to definitely start that mission because. You see, the Hogwarts architect shown here surrounded by the four house mascots designed and oversaw the construction of Hogwarts Castle alongside founder Fiona Ravenclaw, who is credited with creating his ever-changing floor plan. Well, good for him. I'm glad he did. Lewis, 11 of 25. But what I was saying, if we see that, how can we not got to the chest before? We need to do these puzzles here, too. We need to work on that because I always, I can't find that right now. Just wait. Oh, there he is. <laughs> you snuck up on me fine, sir. You're sneaky. Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, a Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. 
I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not! Uh, and from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. <laughs> that guy time changed his spell. Now, if you wouldn't mind humoring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Go on. Take it sounds like a trick, but let's try it. Ooh, odd oh. little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed. Which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demiguise. A demiguise? <gasps> yes! Terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demiguises. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes used a boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. The faculty tower. I'm not sure I should be going in there. Oh, you needn't worry. Uh, you'll be perfectly fine if you simply mind you're not seen. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However will you get in? Hmm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh! I sense you're a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> and I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. I was going to say, is he going to teach me to spell? All right, let's... Uh... Ready and Oh man, I missed that one. It scared me. I got to do it again. Alamora. Very nice. Well, guess what we're gonna do guys? We're gonna be going everywhere now. Let's go to tea. And probably, I'm not, uh, not really using that right now. So why don't we take our new Alamora spell, which is. Where is it? Is it down here? Factus Alamora. It is. Transactus. Okay. We just pressed F on it. Okay. 
Alohomora. Oh, that's nice. We don't have to do anything else with it. Press Q and E and A and E to move the sparks and rotate the dials until both corresponding gears are activated and released to lock. So Q and E. A and D. Okay. Let me look at this for a second. Where's the spark? There it is. A and D. Well, I have to say, I don't see anything. How did I turn that? Use A, Q and E, and A and D to move the sparks and rotate the dials until both corresponding gears are activated to release the lock. Okay, so. Oh, I see the bottom right there. Guess we just keep doing this. Maybe it's the other one first. No, I messed that up, didn't I? I can't be doing this right. You need to move green spark. Can't even move red spark. I really don't know what I'm doing right here. We're just going to keep going. That thing goes all the way around. Almost went all the way around. Yeah, I think we went all the way around. I'm doing something wrong here. Use Q and E and A and E to move the sparks to rotate the dials till both corresponding gears are activated to release the lock. Yeah, I see the ring. Yeah, I see the bottom right. Yeah. But I don't know where the right spot is. Deal what I did there. <laughs> I actually don't. That's called beginner life. Well done. You're in. Remember, use a disillusionment. I understand. I think I understand what you're saying right now. This is a restricted. We'll see you on the next one. After all. All right, number two and two. I can see where I have in the uh, talent. Let's see. Castrovella, authority figures, image location. Now you scout ahead. Okay. I can see we're having the talent to walk faster. Would be Ravelli. Oh. The Hogwarts house elves do an exceptional job keeping the castle in order. They are seldom unprepared for any number of items that might encounter each day. However, only the other day, an unexpected stash of wizarding crackers went off behind a cushion. Catastrophe uh, was almost untoward. Engulfing the poor elf in blue smoke and giving those of us nearby an um, abnormal ringing in our ears for the rest of the day. I expect the culprit was Peeves. Please keep an eye out. Well, oh, Peeves, you know how Peeves, Peeves is. Revenue. All right, so we keep going up. They're getting overpaid. Let's take their 
Agaians. How are your students getting along this year? Rather poorly, I'd say. Is that so? Uh, we're raising a generation of coddled cake flappers that can scarcely stop. Ooh. Around a little bit further. Revelio. Right, we need to go up them stairs, I believe, still. This must be the prefect's bathroom. Alohomora. Alright, so I'm going to do these first. Didn't see nothing move right there. Maybe I do the other ones. Well, good, good training job, rugged death. I think I get lucky, again, truthfully, but nice. Revelio. Hello, Hamora. Oh my goodness, we gotta keep doing this, don't we? Let's go. All right, that scarf's not any good, but you know you can't do that. Oh, I want to turn that water on so bad, but we're not going to. Revelio. Oh, she's sneaking up on us. Let's get out of here. Hopefully she don't come in here. I think she stopped for a second. Alright, let's go to the hospital wing. Revelio. You can't imagine how inconvenient hey, shh. I invented flu powder. Don't let them hear me. Majestic Unicorn Fountain gives an air of serenity and calm at the hospital wing at Hogwarts. These statues still haven't gotten them. I didn't know I was supposed to get statues. Yeah, I know you mentioned that before, but I don't see where I'd do anything. You have to tell me if you know, because I don't see where they let me do anything. Revelio. Oh, the ones at the bottom. Oh my gosh, they heard me, guys. Uh, let's go over here. Okay, we'll use a Sendo. You said at the bottom, all right. Let's see if we can sneak by these. Revelio. It's a majestic sport. Encompasses I don't think we can sneak by them, but we're going to try. Uh, how's that? Well, all of the Oh, we can. I would not have believed that. The golden switch. <laughs> Any goodies in here we can get? If there ever is one. I suppose you should. Well, if I ever place again, I'll remember that they're going to leave. <laughs> That's pretty smart to do while we're sneaking around, isn't it? We alerted. Look at our screen turning red. Revelio. I would like to go over there on the other side, but there's danger over there. Actually... We may never be up here again. Let's do that real quick. Uh, 
that the only door to get in there, it looks like? Oh, okay. Can't do that yet. Revenue. All right, let's get out of here. Talking about those statues right there, right? I figure out which ones to see. I never remember these things, guys. Uh, Oh, I see. Okay, just pull him towards us. Well, he's going to have to leave. Do that. Revelio. A statue of a lost-looking wizard known as Boris the Bewildered has perplexed students for ages. He is coming or is he coming or going? Is he at the beginning of a journey or at the end? Perhaps we shall never know. What's the chances, guys? We can do this without getting caught. Yeah, it must not be one of them. We're too far away. Revelio. right around that fella. There we go. That worked out. Uh, we won't investigate. We'll get out of here. One of the puzzles we're going to have to learn. Mr. Moon, I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness! You're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. Uh, if we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the boggart in Oxmead, does it? No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. Uh, by the time, I'll be glad to help. It's definitely intriguing. I'd like to help you solve this mystery. Uh, you, my friend, are a gentle person and a, a scholar. And I have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. What is that? Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. Uh, how many statues are there? That would be good. How many statues are there to find? I don't know precisely, but I've spotted dozens. Dozens? Wow. Seems they're everywhere I look. You have your work cut out for you, if you were to ever unravel their meaning. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. All right, I, want, well, I knew you were the one. Four, to three. To help. three uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. All right, for now, the caretaker's linear alignment. See if uh, any of these other quests open back up. Beast class. Well, how about we go ahead and do beast class real quick? I think that'd be fun. Because we have to attend that for our quest up here. Let's do that real quick. What do you say? Beast class.
More spells, yeah. Let's go take a bunch of them to do. Now this one you were saying. I guess these are not the statues you're talking about. Really not doing anything. Why did he do anything? Use the Accio, no Accio, no statue. You're going, to, but I'm using Accio. Isn't it Accio that I'm using? I, I believe it is, but I've been mistaken before. Yeah, that's Accio. I don't know why I'm not getting anything. Other spell? Isn't this Accio? Accio. Oh, Feather. Ooh, look at us. Thank you. We are ranked up, guys. Level 19, almost to, almost to 20. Thank you for that. All righty. Well, thanks for that tidbit. That's okay. Hey, we, tr we know that the other two spells don't work now. That's what we're doing. We're doing science, trying to figure Rebellion. that out. I don't know what these rolls right here do, guys. Let's do one. I have no idea. Maybe we make them all the same. I don't know. But we have a beast class to go to. Oh, I see. So that means I won't be able to ever figure that one out. <laughs> uh, we'll figure that one out too. But we have a beast class to go to. Revelio. Let's do this one real quick. Let's do some practice. Well, look at us learning, learning, learning. I love our community. Little things. Y'all showed me a couple things today, guys. I would never got them on. We already got that. Revelio. That one doesn't do that. Okay, it's not a statue. Revelio. Use fire. Okay. Next time I'm around there, I'll do that. All right, let's get to daylight. by herself what are you doing out here challenging you to a game of summoner's court i think it's time you faced a real opponent outside of ronan's little lesson in charms class summoner's court isn't just a game it's a battle of skill a test of a witch or wizard's metal what say well i, I guess in. so let's do it brilliant i don't know what we're doing summoner's court oh yeah ever this. changing game Oh, 
Oh, he's in the good. Wrist. He is good. Let's do that one right there. Revelio. Oh. <laughs> um, put the echo spell in your spell set. It is right there. Oh, no, it's not. Uh, two. <laughs> I looked at the Your move. Accio. It's not wizard chess. Don't think too hard about it. Aha. Look what we did that there. That was one for the ages. Thanks, Akio. Dan. Nothing to it. I uh, want to do that one. Oh, no. I've seen worse. I didn't know I that hear. would happen. I thought it would stop it. <laughs> He'll be his hits it, too. Oh, no. Well, guys, we have to have the perfect one right here. Oh, Try man. to beat that. Well, the only way I can beat that is knock yours off, maybe. Akio. Well, we did not beat that. <laughs> Missed the mark a bit on that one. Wait, did I win? I won! We gotta let the little people win sometime, guys. I did it on purpose. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> we should have bet a few galleons on that round. Care <laughs> to go again? Okay, let's do it one more time. I'm game for another round. Grand! Yeah, stop and you have some fun with boys. Oh, yes, I could use a practice. So am I first this time? Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. Why do they always get to go first? Akio. All in the wrist. Think about right there. Akio. Oh, guys, I should have went a little bit longer. Not bad. Not bad. Akio. This is going to hit. Oh, I was hoping to hit mine. Hit, hit it. There you go. Nothing to it. All right, we're going to take this one right here. Revelio. Akio. Stop right there. That was one for the ages. Akio. Well, thank you, Levan. Linder. Oh, there you go. Good job. Hit mine in. Try to beat that. Well, I should be able to if I do it perfect. Perfectly, I say. And I think right here is to where we need to do it. I did not do it perfectly. We tied. Eh, lucky shot. Hmm, <laughs> tie game. At least you didn't beat me. We did not. But we have a beast class to go to. We'll let you be the champion. <laughs> we should have bet a few galleons on that round. Care to go again? Not now, but we'll Another do it again. Time, perhaps. Can't say I blame you. Perhaps come back when you're a bit more prepared to beat someone of my skill. You're exactly right. I agree. So, we need to go. Oh, how did I get? That's not where I wanted to go anyway, guys. If I missed that. I thought he was going to beast class that whole time. Okay, I hit the wrong one. But we had to show him we're human too, you know. Oh, this is a long ways away. I'm glad I used my broom for this. Here we go. Welcome, everyone. 
I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, <sighs> shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy. Oh, she's so Poppy happy. Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! Miss <laughs> Sweeting, pay attention. I bet better not have me on Valentine's Day, guys. I will be curious. Devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here. You can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> you can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to think it enriches his experience. Okay. Let's see. The beast petting brush used to nurture a magical beast. Tap T and then hover over the beast petting brush. Hold back to drag your spell. So let's press T. Really, am I going to put that? I guess we'll put it right there. I guess we have to unlock another one, aren't we? That's lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind Captain giving him some beast food? the beast food? hold food. Okay, we'll put everything right here for now. What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. <laughs> I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the Neasles in the farthest pen? The Neasles, guys. This way. What's the a Neasles? Are over here. Do we need a Neasel? Oh, a couple of Neasel whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jukes. <laughs> oh, stupid thing. Oh. What in Merlin's name are you doing? Oh, tuss, tuss, peculiar <coughs> poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Persephone. <laughs> Her name is Persephone. <laughs> That's really not funny. Oh, look at us being all brave. <sighs> Let's go. Standing up for a lady, I guess. Is she a lady? Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Feed and brush the Neasles just as you did with Gerald. <laughs> the Neasles really took to you. They know a good egg when they see one. Oh, we're an egg, as guys. Not just a regular egg, a good our egg. time has come to an end. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. Now, where is our new student? Ah, right here. There you are. I would like a moment, please. Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? I enjoyed it. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. 
You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the Savagers in Rookwood's poacher pack. <sighs> Sadly, we're the ones who suffer. Stumbling over dead beasts? Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps? Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. Okay, then what's she going to have us to Over do? Over here, come on. Do you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least that's what we decided it meant. Must be I didn't hat. stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. Sounds intriguing. You've intrigued me. Very well. Lead the way. I'd hoped I would. <laughs> I wouldn't take just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Oh, guys. Really? Valentine's well, Day's went to her head. I think. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. The weather we're having. What do you think? Poppy, where are you taking us? It really is much better if I just show you. Don't worry, we're nearly there. It's just ahead. Stand back. Ooh, could this be a good thing for us? Please meet High Wing. Isn't she just magnificent? Go on, introduce yourself to her, but be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. Well, we shall bow, guys. Do I keep bowing? There we go. Guys. <laughs> I knew it. I don't think I've ever seen a hippogriff take to someone this quickly. Collection updated. You can feed and brush her if you'd like. I come and check on her every once in a while. Bring her pasties, tell her what's going on in the castle. You wouldn't know from looking at her, but she's a dreadful busybody. I guess we need to do some animals so, now around the world. what did you think of High Wing? I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. 
Did you know that once you earn a Hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and Highwing cross paths? It's a longer story, but I rescued her from poachers a few years back. Got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again, and that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seemed to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poachers' influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. I'm not sure that's such a good idea. The poachers seem a dangerous lot. They don't scare me. Besides, I'd do anything to keep Highwing safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. Yes, Poppy. Nice meeting you. All right. Complete mate mission. Seven of eight. So we need another one. Okay. So I guess now when we see cats and, and deer and stuff, we need to see if we can... Hello, friend. I wonder if you might stop by the three broomsticks when you can. I'd like your help with something. Yeah, we owe her. But not today. Alright, guys. I remember seeing one of those... Uh, I don't remember. The first thing we petted in a cage. As I don't I remember where. My sister Anne misses Hogwarts. And she hasn't been herself lately. I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon. So I'll look forward to seeing you there. It's just south of Hogwarts. By the way, hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favorites. So guys, what do we do now? Now that you've attended Beast's class, I've asked Deke to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Please meet him there when you can. Oh, well that answered a big question there for me. Grab some of these things. I've not heard from my Uncle Roland in quite some time. I've been beside myself with worry. Could you meet me in the courtyard? Oh my goodness, a lot of quests opened up right there, didn't it? Want to kind of look Revenue. around here a little bit before we go back? Here's some balloons. Let's grab these. Oh, flew right over top of it. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't very good flying, was it? And that wasn't either. If I did that one on purpose, maybe? There's five of these. Oh my goodness, guys. All right, four or five done. So, I think while we're here, let's see if we see one more set of balloons. That would be nice to get that done. There they are over there. Almost there, yep. Yeah. Whip gear that have found purchased or upgraded a loom to improve. Oh, I missed it, guys. I wasn't looking at my screen. So, something to, to loom. Okay.
There we go. Five of five. All balloons challenge complete. All right, so let's go to Hogwarts map. Go to our room. And talk to Deke. Deke. Ah, Deke is so happy to see you. And Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Deke has seen one of these before. Deke calls it a knapsack. <laughs> it must look like bad breath, doesn't it? Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. Pleasant little breeze. I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beasts class. That I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area. So, perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed. And luckily, Deke can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. I guess we're following Deke. Come along then. Our first stop will be beyond the castle grounds. We can leave now, or you can come and find Deke when you're ready to go. Oh, Deke, come on. Let's do it, buddy. I'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect. Deke loves an outing. He's been good to us. We need to make him happy. A nasty poacher. Deke hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. <sighs> it was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. Well, we've been here, yeah. We have arrived. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puff schemes nearby. It will be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff skein, and in it'll go. All right. All right, we've got a new item, so I'm assuming we're going to go to T and put that knapsack right. Yep, we need to open up another one there just for this. One. We do, Deke. Thank you. Good lesson. Okay, taking notes. <laughs> That's cute. I managed to rescue a puffskeen. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puffskeens and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Uh, Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puffskeen. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A job and all, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready. Well, where'd you go, Deke? All right, guys, where's he at? Well, there he is. He's on our map now. He is. He's not that far. Go we'll take a gander and see what he's got going. I'm surprised the uh, room quest guy hasn't got a hold of us yet. Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? 
Oh, good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Perhaps we should work quickly. The Jobanals are just here, in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. Uh, any tips? Let's see. Let's do this. Would you mind talking a bit more about what it was like working for your former master? Deke's master was not kind to beasts or to Deke. He saw beasts only as a source of income to be used for potion ingredients and labor and... <coughs> Deke will not say more. But Deke is grateful to be at Hogwarts, where he can help care for beasts and make amends for the things his master made him do. Do you have any advice on how I can rescue more elusive beasts? Levioso is not only helpful when rescuing flying beasts, it, it can also help rescue beasts that are generally hard to catch. Try using that spell the next time you encounter a small or otherwise elusive beast. What if I can't find any beasts in their usual habitat? Beasts won't stray too far from their homes. Look nearby or simply wait a moment and they should return. Oh, there you go. Then I shall go and rescue a job and all. Good luck. Deke will be waiting. All right, Deke. Let's see what we can do for you. How about we first go to tea? And let's put that right there. Do I have any talents left? Uh, talents. I have one, guys, and I have a feeling. Is it this one? Yeah, we need to learn one more. I want to go ahead and use it here. Yeah, we need more, more room. All right, so... There they are. Levioso. No need to be difficult. I mean you no harm. It. Settle yourself. I mean, you know, home. a magical beast. Got close to leveling up there, didn't we? I? I rescued a job and all. Deke hopes your job and all finds the knapsack nice and cozy. Poachers want them for their feathers and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of, a herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Deke will see you there. Okay, I'll just keep doing this quest line right here. I mean, we're right here, right? Revelio. And I think we, I don't know for sure, but I think the hippogriff, we probably want to keep doing this so we can unlock a flyer mount. Hello, Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the yeah, light true. of the moon. So, unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. I shall go and find a moon calf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. Well, let's see, you could advance time by pressing F on the map. So let's go to the map. Press F. Oh, that's good to know. Let me also. Oh, a little bit closer. Oh, we got the whole lot. Do cooperate, won't you? Well, that didn't go too far.
far away, maybe. I need to tap that. Wonder if that's going to level to 20. Oh, we're so close, guys. So close. It was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. You'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. All right, let's go to the room. And Hogwarts. the blue. Oh, I didn't get it, did I? Thank you. Should pick, uh, there you should are. Pick up a now, few more we need to show the beast you rescued their new home. Guess I have to go but, back up um, there and get it. Not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Perhaps Expand if you room? focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Ah, sweet. See if he's thinking what I'm thinking. Hmm. What exactly did you think of? <laughs> Heavens! You've done it! But what is it? Deke isn't sure. <laughs> Only one way to find out. Who knows what he's thinking? Meet you inside when you're ready. Okay, we have outdoors, indoors here, don't we? Oh, wow. What a room. Look at this. It's amazing. Where are we, Deke? It seems to be a <laughs> place for funny. your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them. Let them see their new home. All right, tap base to open the management men beast management menu. Oh, okay. Let the beast from the inventory to add. Beasts can be rescued in the Highlands. So we'll select on this one. All of them, I suppose. <laughs> oh. That moon one is probably going, my eyes are hurting. Deke thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so, too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts that the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, beasts that are well-fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puffskin hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use oh. them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. All right, let's do it, guys. Let's uh, go to three and number four. Wonderful. And fed. 
here we got the Jabberknot Feather. Yeah, we got to care for it first, which makes sense. Hey, you take care of yourself. Appreciate you stopping by. Have a good night, and thanks for hanging around with us. I've had a great time for sure. Oh, i got to feed it. There we go, we got fur, and now we need... Well, I don't brush my bird like that. Definitely a way to get ingredients, isn't it? There we go. We got them all. Let's speak with Deke. Oh, we have. Look at that. We have caves in here. There's something to go live in there, isn't it? Oh my. An updated floor. Nice. So we have our own little gathering place. This is pretty sweet. I have to admit. I like the uh, I like the way they did the room. Give us our own room. And, uh, now we'll see if his stuff spawns back. I'm assuming well, we have water too. Maybe we can rescue water things. Let's we'll talk to Deke. I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now, Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. Oh, An finally. enchanted loom. Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. All right, let's go in real quick. All right, let's uh, go to T. And we're going to put that there. I think this was here. Yes, yeah, so and what else did I have on here? Apparel. That's a good thing for it. And we needed the number four, F4, and one. And the loom. Uh, I have a place for all this. That was right over here. A crafting area over here. I think we'll stick this. Right there. I think that'll work just fine. Uh, there we go. Okay, so use the loom to upgrade your gear. Add trait to an item of clothing. Upgrade an item of clothing. Okay, gear features one primary offense and defense stamp by default. Magic materials can be used with the loom to add upgrade a secondary stat or apply trace to gear. Multiple small upgrades can yield a meaningful boost in combat power. New beasts can be rescued at beast dens or unlocked in quests. New traits recipes can be found in bandit caps. Okay, very, very good. All right, let's pick... Uh, why is that going down? Oh, I have this. Let's pick uh, that. You upgrade, no trade applied. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, here, upgrade. 
All right. I guess it's making it for us. We have one upgrade, so we can actually upgrade again if we want, probably. Let's do it so we can see what happens. Yes, we can. Well, that's pretty sweet. All right, let's go back. And let's look at this. Increased damage with Zendio. Okay, so I have that. So if we take that again... I gotta remember how to do that. How do I do this, guys? I put that there. Okay, there's one. We'll do that. So we need... Oh, okay. The next one's gonna take a lot. Oh, extraordinary. Sweet. Can we do anything else? Nope. Yep. We should upgrade what we have and get more later on. All right. So I guess the other clothing we have doesn't have upgrade slots in it. But take a gander at. this and yep let's put that on yep so we have one trait slot on there yeah it says no trait applied I wonder what that means our second one's okay trait lot level two well I think we've done pretty good 815 health 130 defense and 120 offense I think we're getting there, what we're doing. Put the F and if you look guys, we have flying mounts right here. Room upgrades, we have one. We're getting places. We're actually getting places. I think we're doing pretty well guys, but I think this is a great place to call this a stream. We're right at the edge. I mean, when I say right at the edge, right at the edge of hitting level 20. We'll be able to do that on next stream. Guys, I appreciate you stopping by and hanging out sign out out here because this is a great place to be ah yeah upskin almost okay they have a cool down but i do appreciate you stopping guys remember hit that follow button so you know we upload uh, go live and make sure you hit that subscribe button on youtube so you know we update these daily videos guys till next time you take care of yourself and as always please be safe